Hello and welcome to our video to show you how to construct and how to measure with a protractor. Uh, to do this, I'm going to use my ruler, one of my favorite rulers. Okay, and I'm gonna draw a line. So here goes, there's my line, okay. So I've got a nice line there and I would like to draw an angle. So to use this protractor, now this is a semicircle you can use a full protractor like this you get all sorts of protractors these days they all work they all do the same job i'm going to use this and i will in in between use this one as well to show you how to use that but i want to use this one for now now here i'm going to draw a little tiny dot and then i've got a marking here it looks like a t okay and I need to put, where it intersects here, I need to put it on, and it has to be perfect. It can't be here, it can't be below. It has to be perfectly on that dot. Now, this is not perfect because it has to be sitting again on the line so you don't see two, right? Look at that, look at that, that's perfect. But then look at this side. That's come our way a little bit, so I have to go up until i get it six. so you can't have this you can't have that you can't do this it has to be very gently on that dot and it has to be starting on the zero oh, i think i've got it there you go right so starting from the zero i'm not going to read from this because it starts at 180 you wouldn't measure with a ruler and start from five would you no so we need to measure from a zero so just the same i need to measure from the zero so here goes i'm going to go for 30 degrees okay i'm going to measure for 30 degrees so starting from the zero 10 20 30 and then i've got to go very slowly watch how i do this very slowly up and i'm going to draw a little line here because that's where i want to go then I, when i move this away i've got my marking I've got my dot here and i've got my dot here and now i can use my ruler to join these two together okay so now if i was to go and measure this just to double check i need to make sure that it's sitting on the dot make sure that this is sitting on the line and it should read 30 degrees and it has perfect i've done a good job there so i can now label this as 30 degrees okay let's do a few more i'm going to show you another so first i need to draw my line let's draw my line starting from zero let's have it here uh, and in fact i'm going to start from this side okay because remember we had two sets of lines didn't we two sets of measurements and we didn't know which way do i start from here do i start from here now here on this side we started from the zero here uh, but this time i'm going to start from this side so what i've what i've done is i've got my dot on the other side this time sit on the cross okay start from the zero it's perfect look it's just there and this time i want to go for uh 54 so this part here that's point sticks out is 55 because it's in between 50 and 60 that's must be 55 so that here must be 54 so oops. if you look here if i go around here that is my from zero to 54 but what i want to do is i just want to do that right you don't need to draw that line and you can draw your line just like this and we can now label it to 54 degrees and i just want to check i just want to make sure that it is right so i'm going to put this this here check 54 make sure it's on the zero sit on the line nicely and yes there we go if i sit that there 54 yes it's it's there we go 54 it is okay excellent so from zero to 54 lovely 
Now, I hope this helps you. What I'd like you to do now is perhaps you can have a go and do some examples. So you always start off with a line. So here's your plain paper. Let's do, let's give you some questions to do. Number one, you can perhaps draw a 40 degrees and perhaps for number two, you can try doing 35 degrees. Number three, you can do 62 degrees. And number four, let's try 170 degrees. Okay, so have a bash at these and I hope you have some fun. Remember, this is a video, so you can press pause when you need to. And you can practice drawing with a ruler, your straight line. You're then going to use your protractor making sure it sits on the line starting from the zero okay when you're measuring either from this side or you can start from this side all right make sure you mark it with your pencil you have your pencil to hand and then away you go well i hope you have fun please don't forget to like and subscribe we'd love to get some feedback if you'd like to um, ask us any questions go ahead that'd be great bye